Jerry of the circus. For Jerry of the Circus. Hey, Whitey. Oh, hello, Bum. <laughs> How are you, Whitey? Well, fine, Bum, fine. Couldn't be better. Oh, say, Whitey, have you seen Mr. Randall? Yeah, yeah, he and Jerry's uncle just came back on the lot. Uh, I think you'll find him in his office wagon right now. Good, I'll get right over there then. Okay, well, I'll see you later, Bum. All right, Whitey. Yeah? It's Bump, Sam. Oh, come on in, Bump. <laughs> Jeff said you wanted to see me. Yeah, yeah, Bumps. Uh, pull up a chair. Okay. Uh, well, what's on your mind, Sam? Well, I thought maybe you'd like to get in on this job I have. Hmm, what's that? Picking a school for Jerry. Oh, fine. Oh, you got the catalogs then. Yeah, here they are. Nice assortment, too. It's going to be hard to pick the right school. Oh, that's so? Yeah. Uh, take a look at some of these books. All right. Uh, it seems like we ought to be able to pick one out of all these. Yeah. Hey, here's one that looks good to me, Bumps. This one here. Mm-hmm. Fine-looking bunch of boys at that school. Uh, just look through here and see those pictures. All right. Mm-hmm. Gee, I'll say this is a fine school. Nice buildings, too. Mm-hmm. So, you know, Sam, I think you're doing a wise thing, sending Jerry off to a good school. The boy needs an education. Yeah. And he's the kind of a boy that'll make the most of it. Yeah, you just bet he will. Well, he's quick. He picks things up fast. Yeah. <laughs> yes, sir, I have every reason to believe I'm going to be proud of him. Yeah, we all will. That's why I want to be sure to pick the right school for him. I want to feel that I'm doing the very best I can. Yeah. Let's see this catalog now. Well, oh, well, that's pretty far, Bumps. It's a good school, but it's clear across the country. Oh, yes, yes, I see it is. Mm-hmm. Come in. Oh, hello, Dan. Oh, hello, Dan. Hi. Uh, here's a couple of more catalogs and some literature, Mr. Randall. Oh, good. Uh, sit down, Dan. Yeah. Sam and I were just going over some of these schools that he has books on. Find anything that looks okay? Well, looks like they're all okay, Dan. Uh, Jim just got back from the post office, Mr. Randall, and found these books. Ah. Hey, uh, this looks like a good one. Right here. Oh, Fair Oaks, huh? Mm-hmm. Fair Oaks Military Academy. Uh, listen to this. Uh, military discipline tempered with good sense and adapted to growing boys. The prime function of this school is academic in character. That's the ticket. Mm -hmm. Here. Military training develops the boy physically and gives him a sound body, grace and carriage, poise, and self-control. It teaches him to respect authority and trains for leadership. Say, that sounds good, Mm -hmm. Sam. And it tells about the traditions of the school, background of the instructors. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this looks all right. Well, let's see. Hmm. Say, Jerry will like this. They have horses there, and all the students ride. Yeah. Yeah, look at this mm-hmm. picture. They're boating. Yeah? Yeah, it's a good-sized lake. Well, here's, a, here's another thing. <clears throat> uh, look at this map here in the back. Yeah? Here, oh. See where it's located? Oh. Not uh, too far from winter quarters. We could hop down there in an automobile in a few hours. Why, that's ideal, I'd say. Yes, yeah, sir. This looks like the school for Jerry. What do you say, Dan? You're Jerry's garden now, Mr. Randall. What you say goes. Yes, but uh, what do you think of it? That's a fine list of instructors they have. Jerry'd certainly learn something at Fair Oaks. I think it's a good school, Mr. Mm-hmm. Randall. And Bumps, uh, what do you say? Well, unless I miss my guess, Jerry will like it. They have everything there a boy could wish for. Uh, did you tell Jerry I wanted to see him, Dan? Yes, I did, Mr. Randall. He was over with Olson. Oh, yeah. They're sweeping off El Mundo. He'll be over. Ah, uh, good. 
Well, then it's agreed as we talked it over, we'll put his money in the bank for him. I think that's wise. Yeah, so do I. Uh, Jerry doesn't know yet that he's leaving the circus to go to school. Oh, he knows he's going to have to go to school, but he doesn't know he's leaving so soon. Won't you have to get in touch with the school first? Well, uh, yes, I'll call them long distance and see if they have an opening. Well, here he comes now, across the lot. Oh, see, yeah. Say, Sam, don't you think Jerry should have a chance to pick the school he's going to have to go to? Well, sure. Yeah, that's an idea, Bumps, but uh, he'll pick Fair Oaks. Hmm? How? Well, you just watch. <laughs> Uh, come in. Did you want to see me? Mm. Oh, I'm Bob. Hello, Uncle Jerry. Dan. Oh, Hello, Jerry. Hello there. Yes, I did send for you, Jerry. You're invited to attend our meeting. Uh, what meeting? The Jerry Dugan Welfare Society. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I want to have a talk with you, young man. I guess your uncle told you that I'm now your legal guardian. Yeah, he did. Stop it, Ray. <laughs> All right, go on out, but stay right in front of the wagon. Uh, you better close the door. Okay. Well, I'm going to start right out on my new job, Jerry. Uh, sit down. You remember I told you the other day that uh, you were going to have to go to school? Yes, sir. As soon as the season is over. No, before that, Jerry. Right away. But, oh, Mr. Randall. Now, now, Jerry. I've got to do my act. Well, and... I, <laughs> I think we can struggle along without the act. <laughs> now, look, Jerry. From now until the end of the season, we have nothing but one night stand. You've enjoyed the best part of the season. The, the rest is hard. We're on the move all the time. Early setups and switches in the middle of the night. It's no cinch, really. But I don't mind. Oh, I know you don't, but uh, I think you'll be better off if you go right to school. You know, I want you to be happy. I, I think you will be happy at school. Why, in a few days, you'll forget all about the circus and take an interest in things a boy should take an interest in. Football, baseball, swimming, and things like that. You'll like it, Jerry. Maybe. Oh, sure you will. Well, Mr. Randall's right, Jerry. If you get right at it now, by the time there are promotions, you'll get into a better grade. Now, look here. I've got uh, quite a few catalogs, all sorts of different schools. And pretty fine schools at that. Yeah, look them over, Jerry, and see which one you like best. Uh, here's one I think would be nice. Military schools, huh? Uh-huh, that's right. Wouldn't you like to go to a military school? Oh, sure. I always wanted to. Dad was going to send me to one. But... Oh, gee, let me finish the season first. Well, what's the advantage in that, Jerry? I don't know, but... Oh, gee, I hate to leave everybody now. Oh, well, you're going to leave them at the end of the season anyway. That's the way it is with circus folks, son. Every year at the end of the season, we have to say goodbye. Sometimes we're all together again the next season, and sometimes we're not. How'd you like that school, Jerry? No, wait. Hey, look here. Bumps. Uh, yes, Sam? Remember what I told you. Watch. Say... This is a keen school, Mr. Randall. Uh, which one is that, Jerry? Fair Oaks. Uh-huh. Hey, look at They have horses there and polo teams and, hey, a big lake, too. Well, now, that isn't the one I picked out, Jerry. You've had enough to do with horses and being around animals. You want to pick out a school where you'll learn something. You, you've had an easy time of it, and now it's time for you to get down to business and study. Well, sure, but I've got to have a little fun, too, and, well... You know how much I like horses and like to ride. Uh, what's the name of that school, Jerry, the, the one you like? Fair Oaks. And, oh, Jiminy, look at this. It, it's not so far from winter quarters, either. Hey, maybe I could visit winter quarters and weekends or vacation time. Oh, well, no, that's another thing, Jerry. It's too close to winter quarters. You, you want to get uh, as far away from the circus as possible. Oh, no, this is a keen school. Hey, and look at the swell football team. Please, Mr. Randall, let me go to Fair Oaks. Have you got any other objections to the school, Mr. Randall? No, they have a wonderful faculty, Please. and I... <laughs> that's the one I want to go to. You said you wanted me to be happy, and, well, I know I'd like it there. Well, now... Please, it's an awful good school. Well, all right, but... Uh... I'll do anything you say if you just let me go to Fair Oaks. Well, will you leave tonight after the show? Oh, no, not that soon. Well, you said you'd do anything I wanted you to. Oh, you'll be tickled to death once you get there, Jerry. I'll tell you what. Bumps and I'll go with you. Huh? Yeah, Uncle Dan there can sort of hold on my job while we go with you to enroll. There's something for you, Jerry. How about that? But how could Bumps get off? Oh, well, uh, seeing as how I'm the boss, I reckon we can fix that. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let me call, uh, get a call through now and see just where we stand. I think you picked a good school, Jerry. So do I, Jerry, and you'll like it there. You're going to have a lot of fun. Uh, long distance, please. Uh, what, what's the major's name there at the Fair Oaks, Jerry? Let's see. Uh, his picture's right here in the front of the book. Oh, it, it's Major Frank Davis. Right, th uh, hello, uh, operator. Yes, I'm, I'm calling the uh, Fair Oaks Military Academy at Fair Oaks. That's right. I want to talk with Major Frank Davis. That's it. Uh, this is Mr. Randall speaking. Uh, huh? Oh, the phone number? Uh, well, th oh, this is an extension phone to the Randall Brothers Circus. That's right. All right, thank you, operator. Are they going to get it for you? Yes, they'll call me right back. 
Hey, what are you calling them for? Well, we have to see if there's a place open for a new student. They might be all filled up. Oh, I see. Now, how about your money, Jerry? Hey, hmm? now I see it. What? Rosa was right. What are you talking about, Jerry? Remember when Rosa told my fortune the last time? She said I was going to be in a uniform, like a soldier. And she saw me marching between big trees, and she said I was going to leave the circus. <laughs> well, say. Hey, look. Just look at all those big trees. Say, this fit your hair. Well, there's trees all around the school. Uh, that's another prediction of Rosa's come true. <laughs> you bet it is. Hey, wait till Slats hears about this. Uh. Now, about the money, Jerry. Oh, yeah, excuse me. Uh, your uncle and I think you should put the whole amount in the bank for the time being. Oh, but what it takes to send me to school. No, the whole amount, Jerry. Uh, I have a little surprise for you. Uh, no, what, Sam? Yeah, what's this? You remember when you started uh, doing your act with El Mundo, Jerry? I gave you a raise in salary. Yeah. But I, I didn't give you the whole amount. Uh, that act is worth a whole lot more than you've been putting away every week that I've been giving you. I've only been paying you about a fourth. Huh? That's right. I've been saving the biggest part of your salary for you. And I've got it all right in that safe. Enough to pay your tuition at Faro. Really? That's right. <laughs> is that a surprise, Jerry? I'll say it is. <laughs> and thanks, Mr. Randall. Now you can put all your money that you got from your property away in the bank. I guess you're not so bad off, you... Oh, excuse me. Hello? Yeah, yeah, all right, operator. Uh, uh, hello, uh, Major Davis? This is Mr. Randall, Major Davis, of Randall Brothers Circus. Yeah, I'm calling to find out if you have a place for another boy there at Fair Oaks. Yes. Yeah. Yes, he is. That's right. No, right away. Yes, sir. Yes, Major. Oh, fine. Fine, Major. Oh, well, I, I'll get the information, and, uh, well, we'll get in sometime tomorrow. Thank you, sir. You bet. Uh, all right. Goodbye, Major. Well, that's that. Is there room for me? It's all set, huh, sir? Yep. Fine. That's great. Well, Jerry... You're almost on your way. He was certainly a fine man to talk to, huh? I think you'll get along all right with him, Jerry. Hey, wait a minute. Why? Well, how about Rags? What's going to happen to him? Oh, I can't leave Rags behind. Oh, well, now, Jerry, you know I'd take the best of care of that little fellow. Oh, no, I can't go away from him, Bump. Now, Jerry, don't worry about that. We'll take Rags uh, with us to Fair Oaks. I, I think after the major sees him, uh, oh, we won't have any trouble. Why, Rags will most likely wind up being the mascot of the football team. Hey, that's an idea. <laughs> sure. <laughs> It'll work out all right. Now, you better run along, get into your uniform, and get ready for the night show, Jerry. It'll be your last one, Jerry, so better be good. Thank you.